All right, everybody, just a quick one here. This will be a warning to all politicians and running for president. 2024, part 101, I believe, or 100. Uh, just a quick thing. A, a few videos ago, I talked about, you know, somebody should make a movie and follow the, the train of thought and the policies and everything the left have had for the past several decades now and what they, they talk about doing now and follow it like, like a, a time traveler movie or something, you know, where you see what all their policies lead to in this country and the world and stuff. So I said, you know, looking at it, you know, you could combine like Pink Floyd's The Wall and Orwell's 84 stuff together, take a look at it. But uh, thinking even more, you know, you could add like a Clockwork Orange, The Purge, um, what are some of the other ones? Maybe a bit of Blade Runner type stuff or, or uh, you know, Total Recall uh, stuff to it. You, even like a, a Terminator aspect. The idea I had, right, you, you take those concepts or, and, and eyes wide sh shut, stuff like that. You take those those kind of concepts and, and so I was thinking, how, how would the story go? How would you make this uh, movie? So this is my idea anyway. And uh, uh, somebody out there could probably write a script pretty good for it. I could. I thought about it. I've thought. I've had a lot of good ideas, but uh, or at least to me, they're good ideas. <laughs> but I thought, you know what? I ought to follow through on that. But then, with you know, there's not enough time, anything like that. So, and I wouldn't know the first thing about having how to get something. You know, I don't know if you copyright it or anything like that or writing a book and how that kind of stuff goes but uh anyhow uh i was thinking you take that guy that uh that actor the black actor uh, i believe his name is terry terry something or other he got into it with that halfwit on cnn anyhow all right so you make it you make it like uh he's a physicist or something in the future and is really corrupt backwards ass nightmarish hell of America and he travels back in time he, he, he comes up with this idea he's got to travel back oh the other movie I was thinking of too 12 monkeys with Bruce Willis so kind of like that but instead of maybe there is a plague and stuff too but that not being the main theme just just the way society has gone you know uh, he's got to come back to to uh, try and solve the future or make the future better so he um, he works on on this way to, to travel back in time and everything to come back and try and warn us of what the future is and um, and he, he comes back to find like his great great grandfather now you could do a plot twist there or something you know you could throw in a little humor or something like that he comes back finds out his great great grandfather was white or something uh, you know, because like in the future, maybe maybe there's been wars and stuff too. Maybe a lot of the records are messed up, so that's part of the plot too of him trying to find his great great grandfather, who was also a physicist, because he knows he's going to have to find somebody who will believe him, and so he has a little information about his his great great grandfather and stuff and everything that he he, he could use to prove he is who he says he is from the future and stuff. You know, because who's going to believe you, right? Who's going to believe you? So kind of like 12 monkeys, you know? So uh, he comes back and everything, and you know, you could have the whole the whole plot thing, you know, he, he could even be uh, uh, arrested and stuff, and people thinking he's a lunatic and all this, and then, you know, he finally convinces his, his grandfather, and, and they have to, uh, the only way back to the, to the future is they gotta build another machine and stuff, and that's why he needs his great-great-grandfather. Um, because because like one of the only ways he can prove to him is if he can take him back to the he can take him to the future and uh so a lot of it would involve them trying to get the materials and stuff to 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 do this and everything and uh so i, I was thinking you know how, how kind of like you know terminator came back and fought uh you know in this timeline and stuff and, and the kyle reese you know they fought in this timeline um but what if after he convinces his great-great-grandfather and stuff and, 
and some uh, officials from the uh, uh, government go go time travel with them to the future too and, and come back and they, they see what's going on there. What if then they decide we're going to send some Marines into the future? We're going to send some Marines into the future and take care of some business. Um, before it all like goes to hell and goes goes too far, you know, it's it's kind of like maybe there's this character like Hitler or something that they got to take out in the future, and uh, maybe there's some in the past too that they decide they need to take out who will eventually support this character in the future, and then you could get into he has these whole f philosophical questions uh, with religious leaders and people and everything because like a lot of people say, what if you could go back in time and take out Hitler before? all that shit, and the, th and the thing is, is, yeah, that'd be great, but then you don't really know what would happen after that, maybe there was somebody worse than Hitler, smarter than Hitler, and the Nazis end up winning, you know, so you got all those types of questions, so maybe, maybe he has all these questions and stuff, and you go through that in the plot line and stuff, but then, uh, then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta send Marines from our time to the future, or like SEAL teams, to the future, and they pretty much have to assassinate certain people and fight certain people uh, to keep uh, the world from going over the brink in this hellish, hellish nightmare that w was created by these leftists and their policies and stuff and everything. So that's my idea anyway for a movie. So I just thought I'd throw this out there for, uh, you know, to follow up on that when I talked about that. And I, I really think, uh, you know, if you took took uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall, Orwell's 84, Clockwork Orange, Eyes Wide Shut, 12 Monkeys, um, what was the other one I said, The Purge, and all that kind of stuff, and, roll, and rolled it in, you know, you had the Terminator or Total Recall type uh, stuff into it. I think that'd, that'd be a, a good plot line for a movie, you know, and I, I think that Terry, I, I forget what his name is, but, um, he got into it with Don Lemon on TV. It's Terry something, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, uh, he's a pretty good actor. He's a funny guy, too. He had the comedy show for a while. Uh, he was a dad or something. But, um, you know, cause I don't know about you. I like The Rock, but I'm tired of seeing The Rock all the time. I'm tired of seeing The Rock. Give Terry, give Terry a big time role, lead role in an action movie, I think. What do you think out there? I think so. Give Terry a big time action role. But that's my plot for the movie. Uh, the type of movie and stuff and everything. And, uh, you know, they, they, get, they gotta rescue uh, humanity. Or he has to by going back in time and then bringing people back, you know, forward in time and stuff. And, uh, You know, just, uh, hey, maybe somebody else from the future figures out he's going back in time to try and do this, and maybe they follow him, too. So maybe he has to deal with them following him back to find his grandfather and that type of stuff, too. Who knows? Maybe you can make it a whole series, you know? Uh, sequels seem to be Hollywood's thing. Um, so you could have, you know, follow that whole theme through and make it a whole long-running could even be a TV show, uh, if done right. It'd be as popular as Game of Thrones. Uh, anyhow, that's my idea. Figured I'd throw that out there. You know, we go over a whole bunch of serious stuff all the time. Uh, not that the topic of this movie you would, and, and the, the, the vision of what the left, if you follow their ideologies, would lead to. Not that that's not serious, but... I think a good action adventure uh, type movie with a good plot and some good actors uh, would do us all some good right now. So, you know, I was hoping to see Mission, uh, not Mission Impossible, Top Gun Part 2 by now, but you know, COVID and everything, there's a lot of good movies, uh, action movies that were going to be coming out, but uh, hopefully they don't all have some kind of social message they want to ram down our throats in them um,
you know, about how evil we are and all this stuff. Some people, are, well, you're talking about trying to make a movie show how evil the left is and everything. I'm trying to make a movie show you people need to think. You need to think ahead, think through policies and all this type of stuff and what they could lead to. Um, you know, the, the insanity of some of the things they, they come up with because they question what's normal. You know, just... Uh, anyhow, I think that would be a great movie. You know, hey, the, le the left have their movies, you know, they, they want to make about how evil society is on the right and all this and everything and, and how evil people are and, uh, you know, uh, conservatives or Republican or, you know, American patriots, and, you know, they all, they all got, they make their movies to show us all how bad we are, so let's, fair play, you make one showing, showing how screwed up they are. Anyhow, I think it's a good plot, and I, I thought I threw it out there, maybe, uh, uh, kind of break up the seriousness of the, of the conversations I've been having, uh, I've been putting out there, uh, with these videos, so, there you go, wish you all the best out there, God bless, uh, be careful, we'll see you on the next one, adios.